it's time for Family Feud's Champions on Ice. Introducing the graceful beauties of skating, Nancy Kerrigan, Dorothy Hamill, Saria Benelli, Ty Babylonia, and Nicole Bobek. Playing against the lords of the rink, Rudy Galindo, Brian Boitano, Tim Gable, Randy Gardner, and Michael Weiss. You're about to see these stars battle it out for $20,000 for their favorite charities. Cause it's time to play. The Family Feud! Now, here's the star of our show, Richard Triple Lutz Carr! Thank you! And welcome to the Family Feud's Champions on Ice. We have the Lords of the Rink. Yeah! Play against our graceful beauties of the ice. Are you ready to play the feud? Yeah! Come on, Rudy. Nancy. All right. Good luck, you guys. Surveyed 100 people. Top six answers on the board. Give me the most popular answer. Name something you hope you never find in your house. Nancy. Mice. Mice! Yeah. Yeah. Play. Okay, they're playing. All right, congratulations. Good answer. Introduce me to the graceful beauties of the ice. Well, of course, America's sweetheart, Dorothy Hamill. America's sweetheart. <laughs> the fabulous flipper from France, Surya yeah. Lachlan. Very good. M the most fun, Ty Babylonia. Hey. And the beautiful, Nicole Bobek. <laughs> All right. Now, what charity are you playing for? The Nancy Kerrigan Foundation. Which helps? Most of the money is raised for blind charities. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So you can spread it out where it's needed. Right. Very good. All right, okay. Dorothy. Hello, how, how are you? you? Good, how have you been? Very well, thank you. Well, name something you hope you'll never find in your house. Um, cockroaches. Cockroaches? Yes. Bugs? Bugs. Yeah. Insects? Cockroaches! Yeah! Sherry, uh, how are you? Who? Well, name something you hope you never find in your house. Mm, snake. Good. Snakes? Good. Yeah. 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 Snakes! Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So tell me about you. Oh, well, my partner, who's over there on the other side, oh, you're... and I, Randy Gardner. So you're you're battling each yes. other? Well, yeah. Oh. And this year we celebrate our 35th year together. Wow. As a Woo! team. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Well, name something you hope you never find in your house. I would say, um, like cracks. Cracks. So the water can't crack. Yes. Water. Water. We don't Rain. want cracks in the water house. Cracks in the ceiling. Cracks. Cracks. Oh. Nicole. Dirt. <laughs> dust. Dirt. Dirt. Dust. Dirt. 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 medically sealed house, I want no dirt. Show me dirt. No dirt. That's two strikes. Get ready. All right, Nancy. Come on, Nancy. Okay. You got it? You look confident. I do. <laughs> of course, you know, that's what you have to look. Yeah. Um, I would have to say robbers. <laughs> yes! Good robbers! <laughs> Come into your house and you would be... Robert who? Uh, yeah, it's okay. If it's up there, you're still alive. Robbers! Yeah. Burglars! Good to answer, good answer. Okay, sure. Um, how about... Water, like from a flood or Water? a leak? Or yeah, uh-huh. Yes. All right. Okay. If it's up there, okay. you're still alive. So keep thinking. Mm -hmm. Show me water. Oh. All right. Okay, guys. Okay, here we go. Something that you hope you never find in your house. All right. yeah. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> That's right, unless you're Mrs. Maple. Number six. There you go. 
Brian, Dorothy. <laughs> Top five answers are on the board. Name something a frog does better than a human. Brian. Leap. <laughs> he leaps! <laughs> Whoa! Play? Play? All right. Play. Okay. Yeah. They're playing. Rudy! Hey. Welcome back. Thank you. Introduce me to the guys. This is the always brilliant Brian Boitano. Yeah. yeah. The wonderful Tim Gable. <laughs> And the Rand Dazzler, Randy Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> and the awesome Michael Weiss. All right. Now, Rudy, yeah. who's, what's charity are you playing for? Um, we're playing for Camp Laurel, which provides aid and services to children living with HIV and AIDS. And we do, um, they go on four camp, um, camp trips a year. Yeah. And so it's Where's just it based? Wonderful. In Los Angeles. Great. Yeah. All right. Good answer. Tim. How are you? All right. How are you? Good. So what's up with you? What's going on in your life? Uh, well, I'm busy training right now for the World Championships in uh, about two months, and then I'll be... For the World Championships? World Where's that going to be? In Washington, D.C. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I love that. Well, something a frog does better than a human. Swim. Oh, good. Swims. Good. Swims. Swims. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Randy, good to see you. 35 years? Absolutely. Can Same partner? It? Yeah. Holy yeah. smokes. That's longer than most that's marriages. Her. 35 <laughs> years. <laughs> that's right. Most marriages you You're not going to catch her. Oh, I always do. Try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, something a frog does better than a human? Croaks. Oh. <laughs> Croaks. Oh, yeah. That's right. Michael. All right, Michael. How are you? I'm good. So what's up with you? Not a whole lot. Been touring a lot with the uh, Chevy Champions on Ice all summer, and yeah. now uh, I'm getting ready for the World Championships as well. Going to be a good competition. Nice to. What's the hardest move for you? Uh, quadruple Lutz. A quadruple? That's yeah. four? It's four turns in the air, yep. Man. Okay, well, something a frog... Frog can't do that! <laughs> Name something frogs do better than humans. Frogs stick out their tongue. Better than a human. Taste. Yeah. Taste. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Good work. Stick out their tongues. Oh. 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 <laughs> Something frogs do better. Uh, this is going to be weird. Okay. <laughs> Eat insects? Yes. <laughs> Eat insects. All right. All right, you guys. Brian, comes down to you. There ain't nothing left for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, There's one more. I know. <laughs> Sticks out their chin. Uh, yes. Sticks, sticks out that bulbous yeah, chin thing. That bulb yeah. chin. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> the chicks dig that. <laughs> <laughs> sticks out their chins. <laughs> That's cool. Get ready, you guys. What do you mean? Okay, Tim, two strikes. We need, we need a good answer up there. Uh, okay. Uh, That's all right. Uh, all right, Nance. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do any of you know? Um, <laughs> they have better peripheral vision. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know what's going on over there. I know what's going on over there. If it's up there, you've got the points. Peripheral vision. <laughs> that was a good answer, though. <laughs> number four. What's number four? <laughs> the score at the end of round one. Our Lords of the Ice at 98. Our Young Beauties of the Ice at 91. But we'll be back with round two right after this. Don't go away. We're doing triple, quadruple Lexus all day long. The gals at 91, Tim Surya. All right, good luck. Top four answers on the board. Most popular answer. Name something a doctor carries in his bag when making a house call. 
correct him. Stethoscope. A stethoscope. Yeah. Number one answer, you three. All right, play. they're gonna play. Okay. They're playing. Okay. All right. Good, answer. Good job. All right. Technical answers. That's why they call you technical Tim. There we go. Yep. Okay, Randy. Something a doctor carries in his bag. A syringe. A syringe. Right. Syringe. Yeah. I can. Yep. You know it? I know it. You got it. Thermometer. Yeah. 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 Thermometer. Rudy. Uh, Here he goes. Medicine? Oh. Medicine. Good. <laughs> I have medicine in my bag. <laughs> okay, but out there, <laughs> you've swept the board, taken all the points. Medicine. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> the Lords of the Ice at 194. Our beauties of the ice at 91. But when we come back, we will triple the points and find out who's going to play Fast Money in a Chance at $20,000. Come on back. We're skating through this one. Closed captioning is sponsored in part by... Huge champions on ice. We've got the guys at 194. We got the gals at 91. Randy, Ty. Darling, there you go. Now that was you, both of you up on up on the skates. That was us. As partners. Yeah. As, as one. Forever two as one. Forever two as one. We should I, name a book that. That's the title of our book. Do you guys ever get in a fight and then skate? Never. No. <laughs> No. Uh, we'll come back to that question. Now, who's ever in the lead at the end of this question goes on to play Fast Money and a chance at $20,000. Let's go. And for this question, we're tripling the points. Okay. It's like a triple axle, only harder. We don't do those. Also, in this round, you only get one strike. Okay? Okay. Top four answers on the board. Name something a total stranger on the street might ask you for. Hi. Money. Okay, they're playing. Okay. All right. Yes. Nicole. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> Something a total stranger on the street might ask you for. A cigarette. Good. Thank you. Cigarette. Good girl. Okay. Yeah. All right, Nance. Yep. Okay. You got it? Yep. Okay. Directions. Directions. Yeah. That's right. Uh, it's like, how do I get to the Olympics? <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Okay. If it's up there, you're still alive. Directions. Yeah. Dorothy, yeah. you can sweep the board. No. And take the game. How about a ride? Ask for a ride. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A ride. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Food. For food. Yeah. 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 Do you have any spare lasagna? Yeah. Okay. If it's up there, you have the points and the game. Food. I think what time is it? It's time for the women to win. What's number three? That's right. Who's playing? Come on. Okay. All right. When we come back, we're going to play Fast Money and a chance for $20,000 for the Nancy Kerrigan Foundation. Feud. The women have won the game, and it's time to play Fast Money and a chance for $20,000 yeah. for the Nancy Kerrigan Fund. Now, Hi. 
Nancy's off stage where she can't see or hear your answers. I'll ask okay. you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. Okay. If you can't think of something, say pass, and we'll come back to it if there's time left. If you and Nancy together get 200 points, you win $20,000 for your charity. All right, you ready? Yes. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Okay. Name something you associate with Valentine's Day. Hearts. Name something you'd need to make a pina colada. Uh, um... Tequila. Tell me how many work days you might miss if you had the flu. Four. Name a kind of paper that comes on a roll. Toilet. Name someone who might try to fix you up on a blind, blind date. A best friend. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. That's good. Okay. It was. That's all right. Okay. Oh, you know, these perfectionists. I know. Name something you associate with Valentine's Day. You said hearts. Absolutely. Yeah. Survey said boom. Good job. Good. Okay. Something you'd need to make a pina colada. You said tequila. Well, it yeah. sounds like pina. Pina tequila. Pina tequila. Survey said. Good job! All right. <laughs> How many work days you might miss if you had the flu? You said four. That means you can't skate for four days. Darn. Survey said <laughs> 11. <laughs> Name a kind of paper that comes on a roll. You said toilet. Toilet paper, yeah. Yeah. Survey said <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> You're on a roll. All right, name someone who might try to fix you up on a blind date. You said, a best friend. Survey said. Oh. Clear the board. Man. It's looking good for your foundation. Oh, good. Okay, she got you 180 points. All you need is 20. Okay? Wow, okay? I'll ask you the same five questions. You can't duplicate the answers. If you do, you'll hear the sound. I'll say try again. Give me another answer. Okay. It's tougher, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? I'm ready. Remind everyone of Ty's answers. 25 seconds on the clock. Time will start after I read the first question. Name something you associate with Valentine's Day. Hearts. Try again. Love. Name something you'd need to make a pina colada. Margaret, uh... <laughs> Um, tequila. Try again. Oh. Vodka. Tell me how many work days you might miss if you had the flu. Three. Name a kind of paper that comes on a roll. Toilet. Try again. Paper towel. Name someone who might try to fix you up on a blind date. A friend. Try again. Oh! Those were tougher because okay. she, she had all the good points. answers. Yeah. She had all the good answers. Okay. All right, you need 20 points. Okay, okay. okay. we did it. 20 points. Something you associate with Valentine's Day. You said, love. Love is all you need. Actually, 20 points is all you need. Survey said, oh, 14. We're there. We're close. Hearts, number one answer. All right. Something you'd need to make a pina colada. You said, <laughs> vodka colada. <laughs> a lot of vodka colada. You only need six points. Survey said, I should have said a bartender. A bartender. A bartender. That would have been a good answer. <laughs> Number one answer was pineapple. Pineapple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apple of the pine. All right, okay. tell me how many work days you might miss if you had the flu. You said three. Okay. You need six points, not three. We've got it. Survey said. Number one answer, toilet paper, number one answer, and friend, number one answer. And that's $20,000 to the Kerrigan Foundation. Thank you for watching The Family Feud. Come on back and watch us some more. They're here all week, right here on The Feud.